Hello, this is Joyce Latimer with Virginia Tech. Today we're going to talk about early growth regulation with liner soaks as opposed to liner drenches. I want to thank Fine Americas for supporting this video and some of the research behind it, and thanks to eGrow for posting the video. So when we talk about liner soaks or liner drenches, we're talking about growth control of very vigorous crops. The ones where the spray applications really just go on too late. By the time the transplant is established, the plants are stretched or already overgrown. So we want rapid and early growth regulation. So the best way to get that is to treat the liners. Liner soaks have been used for a while now. This is an example of Piccolo 10XC uses a liner soak on Gara. At two weeks after transplanting, you can see that the untreated control plants are significantly overgrown, whereas those treated with our liner soaks from one to eight parts per million, we have good early control. So when we talk about liner soaks or liner drenches, we're talking about using soil active plant growth regulators. Now all of these listed are soil active, but they may not all be labeled for use as liner soaks, so do check the labels. We are making early applications, typically just prior to transplanting, early enough to get through the restricted entry interval before transplanting, and we want to make sure that those plugs or liners are ready for irrigation. We call that a dry plug, not wilted, but ready for irrigation. And these root applications, whether by soaks or drenches, are typically less affected by the environmental conditions that affect drying, so we typically have a more uniform response in the crop. So remember, the goal is to provide baseline control of vigorous crops, and you may need to come back later and make additional applications. So with the liner soak, we are soaking the root ball in the plant growth regulator solution. Typically for 30 seconds to two minutes, we just want to saturate the root ball. You just need to develop a consistent protocol for this, be consistent from one application to the next. Again, that can be a manual dip like you see here, just setting the flat into a vat of PGR solution, or you may run it through a PGR trough just to soak that root ball. A liner drench is a drench applied to the liner prior to transplant. It can be manually applied, or if the PGR is labeled for chemigation, you can use that in the irrigation boom or a water tunnel. So when we compare growth regulation with a liner soak versus a liner trench, we do see some differences. This example is with Agastache, and you can see with the control we have some growth at four weeks after transplant. We have good control with a one part per million liner soak, a two minute soak in uh, concise at one part per million. However, we made a liner drench application at the same time as we made our liner soak applications. So our liner drench was applied as a one part per million solution applied at 10 milliliters per cell. That's about one third of an ounce per cell, 72 size cell. You can see we have a little more growth response to the liner drench than we did to the liner soak. Now our intent was that the volume of application for these two would be about the same but we believe that it was not, and that is the reason we have more growth control with the liner drench than we did with the soak. You can see that carried over into eight weeks after transplanting. Not a lot of difference, so I think there are some good applications here. You must take special note of the volume of application for your liner drenches and establish a consistent protocol. However, the responses are close enough that you can use any liner soak rates that you find published or recommended as a guide for establishing your liner drench rates. Be aware that not all PGRs are labeled for liner soaks. Fine Americas is currently pursuing labeling for Piccolo 10XC and Concise, but Piccolo and Paxol are already labeled for liner soaks. But drenches, including liner drenches, are already labeled on all of these soil active products. So liner drenches would certainly be a good application method for you. So take the time to learn how to use these liner drenches and liner soaks for early growth control of your vigorous crops. And thanks again to Fine Americas for supporting this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Have a great day.